It is with a happy heart that we are able to welcome you to the first Memorial Day gathering since 2019. The Memorial Day Parade is an important tradition here and throughout the country. Everyone who helped prepare for this event and who participated today are an integral part of this longstanding tradition. Originally called Decoration Day from the early tradition of caring for the graves of Civil War soldiers by decorating them with flowers, wreaths, and flags, Memorial Day is a remembrance of those who have died in service to our country. In 1873, New York was the first state to designate Memorial Day as a legal holiday. After World War I, it became an occasion to honor all those who died in all of America's wars and conflicts. In honor of those who sacrificed their lives during military service to our nation, Americans gather at cemeteries, monuments, parks, and town halls. We observe moments of silence, lay wreaths, wave flags, and are stirred by the 24 notes of taps and the gun salutes. We acknowledge the loyalty and courage of those who answered the call for military service and sacrificed their lives as a result of that service. General Norman Schwarzkopf once said, it doesn't take a hero to order soldiers into battle. It takes a hero to be one of those soldiers who goes into battle. And Major General William Grimsley summed up the sentiments of today when he stated that our military is made up of, quote, ordinary people who by virtue of their service and sacrifice are extraordinary. Attending today are Hannah Timbrook, Cadence Nigro, Gianna Benami, Emma Hanley, John Custer, Coy Jones, and Edward Karen, students from the Kingston High School Choir here to sing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars do the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air Although this day is de dedicated to honoring those who served and sacrificed their lives in service to the country, we also recognize that service and sacrifice for our country takes many forms. All those who answer the call to any kind of service in our community are deserving of both recognition and our gratitude. A wise man once said that service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. If that is true, then our Grand Marshal, Justice Rice, and the generations of family that, became, that came before and after will surely have paid rent enough for rooms to create a palace with their tradition of service. The Grand Marshal is an honorary position that began in 1890 at the Tournament of Roses Parade. At that time, the title carried with it the responsibility of the care of the horses that pulled the floats and carried the riders. The position has now evolved and is used widely to honor those who stand out as someone who is extraordinary. This year, Justice Rice earned the distinction of contributing 50 years of service to his community. He, was the third son, he is the third son of Arthur and Annie Rice. Two of his brothers each previously served as Grand Marshal in our town parade, and they contribute their time and talents in other ways to the town. On his 16th birthday, Justice joined the West Hurley Fire Department and remained active since, has remained active since then. He's held the positions of Lieutenant, Captain, Assistant Chief, and Chief. In December 2006, he was elected for his first term on the Board of Fire Commissioners, and since then has served as chairman and currently holds the position of deputy chairman. He's also a member of the Ulster County and the Hudson Valley Firemen's Association. When asked what motivated him to join the fire department, he said he wanted to be part of something that helped and served his community. It is this aspect he takes so seriously. 
We can all follow his example of dedication and his call to duty to help others and use it as an inspiration in our own lives. I'd like to present a plaque to, to Justice. The plaque says, Hurley Memorial Day Parade Grand Marshal 2022, Justice Rice, in grateful appreciation of 50 years of fire service to our residents and the larger community. Please give Justice a round of applause. Also, I would be negligent in my duty if I didn't re mention the fact that the fire departments really do need volunteers. So if you have it in your heart to provide service to your community, um, that's a good place to, to generate that effort. I'd like to thank the other officials who are here today. Uh, Ulster County Legislator from District 18, representing Hurley and Marbletown, Eric Stewart. Deputy Supervisor, Peter Humphreys. Council Member Gregory Simpson. I'd like to dedicate a moment of silence to the fallen soldiers. Okay, it's starting to rain. <laughs> um, at this time, the Hurley Heritage Society, Dale Whipple will come up if it wasn't for those that gave everything to us so we could have our freedom. So I'm honored to place the wreath. Thank you. I'd also like to thank Judge Parker for walking with us. Um, there are a lot of people who made today possible. 
I'd like to thank the Hurley Fire Department for putting up the flags along the parade route, the Hurley Highway Department for all of their assistance leading up to the event, the VFW for all of their help, Um, Samara Jani, who I couldn't have done this without her, um, Peter, Peter Humphreys, who is responsible for the way that this um, landscaping in front of the monument looks. All those plants were donated. Um, all of you who participated today in March, thank you for coming. I wish the rain held off. <laughs> um, enjoy your day, thank you. Um, feel free to stick around, we've got some refreshments. Um, you can come and talk with Justice and his wife, Alice, and their children, Tammy and Stephanie and Elizabeth, and their grandchildren, Delaney and Finnegan. Thank you all.